Let's take a look at the intermolecular forces that are present in N2, if we have a sample of nitrogen gas, also called diatomic nitrogen and even molecular nitrogen. The first question we need to ask is, are there ions present? So do we have a negative or a positive after this molecule here? And we don't, so no ions are present. In fact, we can just get rid of all this section of our flow chart. Next, we ask, do we have polar molecules present? So is nitrogen, N2, a polar molecule? If we look at the Lewis structure for nitrogen, we have N2, two nitrogen atoms. Since polarity, we're looking at a difference in electronegativity, and we have two of the same atoms, there's no difference. So in answer to our question, are there polar molecules present? There aren't. So we go over here, they're not present, and we go down, and we end up with London dispersion forces. These are the only intermolecular forces with N2. London dispersion forces take place between nonpolar molecules, and it's really where we induce a dipole in a neighboring molecule, and that causes the attraction. It's pretty weak for nitrogen. Nitrogen is normally a gas, but if you cool it down enough, it will turn into a liquid. This is Dr. B with the intermolecular forces for N2, nitrogen gas, and the only thing we have are London dispersion forces. Thanks for watching.